guys, so today I'm going to be doing a book review on I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. By the way, I got really bored in art class, so this is what happened. Anyway, so I was encouraged and I was intrigued to pick up this book because of the hype that has been surrounding it on booktube. And I've been hearing about it for a while now, I've watched a lot of book reviews and they have all had some really positive um, comments and reviews on it. So at this moment I was like really interested to read it. But then I read the synopsis and the synopsis was not as... was not as engaging and I wasn't very drawn to it when I first read it. But then one of my very best friends read it as well and she raved about it to me. She was like, it's amazing, you have to read it. So then I was like, okay, I trust you, let's do it. And so I picked it up at a bookstore when I was in Australia and I read it. So here's my review on it. This book review may contain some spoilers and you might not understand it if you have not read the book. So I would warn you to be cautious with watching it if you have not read the book. Let's get started with the book review. I'll Give You the Sun is considered more of a young adult, a contemporary kind of novel, and it follows the story of a brother and a sister whose names are Noah and Jude. Noah and Jude, they have a very good relationship at the start of the book, and the book is split into two parts. So the 13 year old, 14 year old lives are narrated by Noah and the 16 and 15 year old lives are narrated by Jude. The storylines are meant to be half the story and when they're placed together they match cohesively and they go really well together to create a whole plot. And supposedly they were really good friends when they were little, the twins, and some and then things happened and they kind of broke off and became very different from the personalities that they were before and this is kind of the story of finding each other again through romance and friendship and family issues. Honestly, I think this book is really wonderful. It was such an unforgettable and emotionally impactful experience while reading this book. It was really quite exciting and I finished it all in one sitting. I could tell that Jandy, the author, spent a lot of time thinking of the characters and the plot lines and the plot twists because they all seemed to mesh together so well and it was so engaging that I read it all in one sitting with my heart beating like amazingly fast, like so fast. I will say that the ending of the book was quite rushed because we had a happily ever ending with Jude and Oscar, but it was very vague on what Brian and Noah's relationship was like because at the very end it just mentioned that they were standing, like, they were walking down the hill hand in hand and it had been years, like, since Brian has contacted Noah at all. And I feel like it was very vague and predictable, but I guess it leaves more to the imagination, which could be a good or a bad thing depending on how you think of it. Jande's writing style is really unique. Some people might not like it because it's really f um, full of a lot of similes, metaphors, and hyperboles, and that makes a story have um, a very like it's told from the perspective of a child who sees everything in a very magical sort of way. And some people might not like sentences that are decorated with tons of literary devices, but me, for me, I really loved her style. For example, one of the quotes is, Judy barfs bright blue fluorescent barf all over the table, but I'm the only one who notices. Noah had a really realistic perspective. Noah's part in the stories have a very realistic edge to them and it was really heartbreaking. I enjoyed Ju's perspective, um, of course I did, but honestly I feel like Noah's was the one that really gripped at my heartstrings. He experienced questioning his sexuality, falling in love with Brian, and then ruining the relationship. He saw his mom um, being with another guy. In the book, in Noah's perspective at least, there are a lot of interesting things in there where um, he has a habit of turning like small quirky things, things into a painting. For example in the book it said once, portrait, Judy braiding boy after boy into her hair. 
and it happens a lot of the time, like portrait, self-portrait, twins, the flashlight and the flash dark. And I think it really um, represents a lot of the artistic side in him, as well as these illustrations in Noah's perspective. I don't know if it's in every um, edition of the book, but in mine, at Noah's perspective, you see these amazing, like, illustrations. They're like watercolor and ink illustrations, and, um, and I think... And I assume it's supposed to represent how artistic Noah is, because really, he's very talented, so is Jude. I think Judy had a very different character and personality to Noah. She's very quirky, she's very sarcastic, and she actually made me laugh out loud a lot of the times with her descriptions of Oscar. I was not the biggest fan of Oscar, because I feel like Jandy try, um, kept trying to give Oscar a uh, background, he had tried to give him more of a personality with some depth, but really he just seemed like a very cardboard figure to me. Lastly, Jandy handled the concepts of the themes very well in the book. For example, there's a the theme of family relationships as well as romantic relationships. I think it's really important to note that family is very important in these YA contemporary novels, but a lot of um, the other ones I've read never really have addressed it in such a realistic manner. Because honestly, the storyline, the relationships, they weren't really all cotton candy and chocolate. They had their ups and downs as well, which is something that I really appreciate about Jandy's writing and thought process. All in all, I would definitely, definitely recommend this book to anyone who is willing to read it, because it's really amazing, and if I don't take into account of the mm, kind of rushed ending, I would say that this is one of my all-time favorite books. It just left me dumbfounded. It was so emotionally impactful and I feel like it taught me really a lot about what family and friendships are supposed to be like. So basically, I am very, very into this book and I would definitely recommend it to you all. It has some uh, sexual content in there, so if you're under 13, please don't read it. Thank you so much for watching this review. It is actually my first ever film review and I hope I did well on it. I stumbled so much. I stumbled so much over my words and I had to read film so many times, but I'm finished now and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Bye! Ooh, school! I've been losing sleep over school. It's not very fun. Bye!